Zadrizes bus darīs, kas daudz. We've got close-ups of Aemon Targaryen and Kristen Cole and a few other things that I want to mention uh, that have leaked from the set of Season 2 House of the Dragon. Before I jump into any of that, please do me a massive favor. If you're a fan of my content here on YouTube, please subscribe. It's the best thing you could ever do. If you want to help out my channel, you want to help me succeed. Um, and then also, if you're feeling so inclined, please slap a like on this video. Like goal is going to be 420. <laughs> get it <laughs> okay so first up we have this image of a snowy wood like this entire little area in Bourne woods uh, where they've been doing a heavy chunk of filming for like the past month or so has been covered in what is seemingly snow could also be ash i think what uh there's one of two things going on here one is there's a uh, like a sweeping shot of the battlefield and some of the ashes are heavily concentrated in this area maybe that's where they find the burned body of uh, Rainius, although I doubt it, right? The other option, and I think this is more likely, is that this is like a snowy walk in the woods between either Jason Cregan or Jace and uh, Sarah Snow, right? So the reason why they added this snow here is because they're already filming in this location. They've likely got a bunch of supplies and crew already on set, so they decided to film a couple of pickup shots for some scenes that will be happening with uh, Jason Cregan in the north, in my opinion. Um, like I said, it could also be ashes, although I think the big thing here is that this looks a little bit too white to be, um, you know, ashes, and then also it's kind of far away from where they're doing the Rook's Rest stuff at. Like, it's in the same location, but it's pretty far away from the battlefield, so it wouldn't really make sense. And then um, we also have images of Aemond One-Eye Targaryen. Looks pretty dope. He's got his vest on. Uh, looks like he's doing a little bit of sword work. Um, there is uh, some images of him talking with Kristen Cole, but it, he's not in the scene, I can tell, because he's just got his vest on, right? Look, he's got his boiled leather vest. Uh, if he was, like... In the on the battlefield, or if this scene was going to appear on screen, he wouldn't have his head wrapped up. Like his hair'd be down, he'd be in full armor. Uh, and they're likely going to be filming those scenes later today. But this is really cool to see. It's awesome to know that Aemon is going to get to fight a few people. Like I feel like at Rook's Rest, it would be really dope if he had Vagar sort of parked off on the side and he was maybe leading the charge with Chris and Cole. Like I know it's extremely risky, but Aemon isn't the type to sort of stand back and let others fight his battles for him. Right, and then we have the image of him like literally holding back the sword. Looks so awesome. And in this next image, we have Kristen Cole. Now, supposedly, the rumors that went along with this image is this is Kristen Cole post battle Rook's Rest, and he can barely sort of stand. There was like a 10 second video that came out with this image that shows Kristen Cole uh, shooting a scene that's gonna be on our screens, which is why I'm not showing it in this video. But in that, uh, he sort of struggles to take a few steps before ultimately kind of collapsing. But Cole doesn't die here. Cole's probably not going to die until like the final season, right? He's surrounded by a bunch of pe people and filled with arrows. But um, it appears as though whatever happens at Rook's Rest, he barely escapes with his life. They're showing you how intensely uh, insane a lot of these medieval battles are when you're wearing full suits of armor. You can literally struggle to breathe and move after a certain amount of time of wearing this, you know, massive suit of protection. Real quick as a side note, are they really changing canon so that somehow Cole, who will be Hand of the King, will have uh, the chain that Tyrion makes for himself when he's the Hand of the King and a Clash of Kings? Like, what? How does... How is Cole wearing Tyrion's necklace of interlocking hands? T what? Well, I mean, I guess it's a cool nod. Then we've got also got this image of Burns, burned bodies, which is, this is for sure the aftermath of Rook's Rest. Real quick, I added in this in in post. Is this Tom Glenn Carney? Oh my god, is this King Aegon? I don't, I mean, he's wearing all black. King Aegon is, is a high tower. He's gonna rock green. Well, he's a Targaryen, but he's a high tower. Right? She's gonna rock green. I think this is just some dude who was badly damaged and will be one of the live bodies uh, next to these fake ones on the field when they do the zooming uh, panning shots over the battlefield after aftermath showing the aftermath of what happened got several soldiers that looked like they were trying to either crawl away to get away from the flames or were just entirely engulfed in the middle of what they were doing and they died right there on the spot uh, Rook's rest 
this battle, if I had to guess, will probably be one of the best, not only of Season 2, right? Because I'm sure there's going to be some other skirmishes, but of the entire series. Rook's Rest really kicks off the war. And like I mentioned before, the only other time there's this many dragons kind of fighting each other is the second battle of Tumbleton, right? Like, we are, uh, you know, the story's called the Dance of the Dragons. But usually, like... For most cases, it's a 1v1 dragon, but there's several instances where several dragons dance. Like, the second battle of Tumbleton is going to be insanely nuts, right? Like, the, 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 a lot of the dragons that cause damage, for instance, uh, we have Jaehaerys' dragon, Vermithor. He doesn't even have a rider when he's destroying the entire cabin of uh, second battle of Tumbleton. So, Rook's Rest, like I said, is going to be up there uh, for, like, the top battles of the entire series. I can't wait to see this unfold on our screens. Then the last couple of things I want to talk about for this video is we have this image of the blue screens finally appearing at the uh, Bourne Woods where they're filming Rook's Rest at. Um, and then also, this is kind of interesting. I know this is a random picture, but this is actually supposedly according to the source of this image. This is uh, an explosion. An explosion happens and there are several characters that are hooked up to wireworks that get like either shot forward or pulled back. So that's kind of interesting. And then lastly, the last thing I want to talk about for this video, most exciting. There has supposedly been crew members seen on set for House of the Dragon. There haven't been any images of it yet, right? But there's supposedly been crew members that have been seen carrying something um, that's like a prop that's uh, inside of a box that's titled Aegon's Burnt Armor, right? So we all know what happens at Rook's Rest. Aegon survives, but the metal from his armor is fused into his skin because he's so badly burned from the battle he just is completely incapacitated for the better part of a year he sleeps most of the day he barely does anything and he finally comes back into the picture after a lot of the characters have died right so this is Aegon's triumphant moment um he does you know uh, have several major events to play after this but I'm just saying this is like his like key role is to just define who he is for the entirety of the dance is after rook's rest so if that's the case if the rumors are true it's going to be amazing to watch that scene uh, unfold on screen i can imagine tom glenn carney is just going to be writhing in pain and there's going to be you know an act of fire around him like he's, he's going to be bleeding really badly the scene is going to be nuts uh, if you all enjoy this please <laughs> interesting segue there but if you all enjoyed this please slap a like on it like what was going to be 420 super special shout out to my uh dragonite tier over on patreon uh members of those tier are destiny mix queen phillips 420 tyler schnabel the north must remember brianne johnson and pebbles 83 and thank you so so much for watching uh, I'm like uh, one of those socially awkward people. Like I'm, I'm really like outgoing, but socially awkward. If I that makes that. sense. If that makes sense. I feel like I vibe. Like, I'm sweating like so really bad. You guys are not even here, and I'm sweating. Why am I sweating? <laughs> oh, nice shirt. That's a fancy shirt you got there. You know, right? Isn't it? Isn't it? I, I wonder where I got I need to buy merch too. I should make some cool Scotty. Uh, Scotty, I'm calling you Scotty. Billy oh. sent me some merch that he made. He, he made some bootleg merch with some, uh, he gave me the idea to put, why does it say your meeting will end in five minutes? Because you scheduled at 6, 6.30? Yeah, so it's only going to be 30 minutes. <laughs> Wait, like, well, no, it's telling me I got to get Zoom Pro. They want me to pay, I think. Hang on, I got to take this dab. My nail's getting too, uh... <laughs> Man, I got to reheat mine. I don't want to, that'll be my last dab. <laughs> she'll, she'll eat me. Parking when I gotta leave. If I do more dabs, I might just sit here and stare at y'all. <laughs> Sorry, I know that's annoying. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so <coughs> the Song of Ice and Fire is awesome. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Going to give my uh, uh, dark sister his long claw rant? Oh yeah! <laughs> By the you way. got me start. You got me started on no, that, bro. No, please, please. I'm, I'm I'm buying it. Uh, Mark mentioned it. If if Mark wants me to go into wait, wait, it. 
Wait, yeah, I was about to say, go you ahead know and tell where everybody. Blackfire is? Like, tell everybody your YouTube channel and stuff, because I'll upload this clip to YouTube. Like, yeah, send me, okay. send, me your, send me your info. I'll follow you for sure. For, uh... So, Mark is actually the reason I have a YouTube channel. Um, So, I was watching him for through season seven and eight and all throughout the long nights. Um, and I had some 